I'll just say this one thing. Just going back to the English thing, right? There's a culture in England w- which isn't... I think Chris Williamson said this, and I've sort of found this as well, like doing the podcast, and, and maybe you have, but there's a there's a culture of England which is everyone... We're polite, but we're also subtly, uh, begrudgingly not willing to encourage people. And we don't like people that try and put their head above the parapet. We want to cut people down. And in America, it's not like that at all. The American, the going back to sort of narratives, a positive narrative is the American dream and how the American dream is might not be relevant anymore but it seeped into the psyche of America and it, and the, the roots are there. So they're very encouraging of each other. And in England, it just, that just is not the case at all. And it's been quite shocking for me, actually, whilst doing the podcast, how, what lack yep. of support and encouragement I've received from people. And, yep. and that's another thing. That's another problem with the UK that we have. That culture is very much embedded in us. And it's a real shame yeah, it's it really is. I'd, I'd reiterate that, and I, I can't stress how many times I've had this conversation with people. You know, I, I in my previous job, I worked with Americans all the time, and I work with Americans now. I I'm engaged with a lot of Americans on social media. I meet a lot of Americans out here, and it is yeah. exactly that, as you've said, they have this inbuilt ambition, optimism willingness to take risk that is so much easier to uh, to work with and it's so much more motivating. Now, don't get me wrong, as you've said, the American dream, sure, not everyone can make it, not everyone is going to make it, yeah. but I genuinely believe that if more British people adopted the American optimism and self-belief we would have far more people running their own businesses far more millionaires like just more people doing the things they want to do it's it's almost like a contagious optimism the the reverse of it and again i i find it so much better to be around but in the uk and australia is really bad for this as well the the aussies are are, are even worse the 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 tall poppy syndrome like it any anybody who aspires to be better you chop them down like why why are you trying to get ahead of yourself like oh i see a rich person over there oh they must have scammed their way to it oh they don't fucking deserve it oh who look at that twat like who does he think he is it's just a sheep yeah. mentality that keeps people trapped in their misery and it i i don't fully understand why we have it that way but it is a means of societal an ideological control that stops us aspiring for better and stops people doing what they want to do. And you have to actively remove yourself from that and surround yourself with the people who are on the same wavelength. Because don't get me wrong, in the UK, there are those people. There are a minority of of very entrepreneurial and ambitious people. It's just, you really have to connect with them. And, And that's why doing things like this, moving to places like Bali, Dubai. I know Dubai gets loads of shit for being materialistic, but I would much rather live in Dubai than the UK because, again, it's full of those people. And when you surround yourself with those people, you are the sum of your environment and it rubs off on you. It's so much more motivating. You will feel better in yourself. So, like, I I would always say to people, like, if you can set up a business that targets the the American audience, do it because you will find it a hell of a lot easier and a hell of a lot more rewarding just get used to them not understanding your humor and sarcasm 